this is pathetic, this is risky, this is dangerous. I know the country again has so many such challenges, but I wanted the engineers to look at this from a very, very different lens, so that when we go back, we really must see what can be done. I think apart from the very many big things that we are supposed to do, connectivity in this area in terms of first of all fixing bridges is very critical. The bridges that are here, some of them are stone age bridges. They were put some years back. Some of the bridges that the local government has tried to put in place are wooden decks and they are supposed to shoulder the very heavy weight of goods that emanate from here going to Kampala and those that are brought here from other parts of the country. We are not here to say we are going to do this, we are going to do this, we are going to do this. But I'm very confident that our assessment and the report that these distinguished engineers are going to compile is going to generate interventions. Some will be immediate. Some will be medium term and some will be long term interventions. Our capacity as a district, we cannot manage to fix or work on these bridges. For example, the first quarter release, we're only given 25 million shillings. So when you look at the, uh, the number of bridges that we have, for example, today visited, there are so many and the scope of work is too big for the district to handle, because at least one, one bridge, for example, the North Bridge, uh, previously, before it collapsed completely, uh, our district engineer had visited it and had made BO shoes to the tune of uh, 140 million shillings. So if we are now, now given 25 million shillings in the quarter and uh, the bridge itself, uh, the BO shoes previously made was 140 million, so you see that we don't have the capacity to fix even the single, the single bridge. That is why we are appealing to government to give a helping hand in fixing what these bridges. <laughs>